negative cues, but we have good gains under our belt. So let's see if the dips get bought. The first tick on the index is a loss of about 90 odd points, so not looking good. That's on the Nifty, on the Sensex. The Sensex is down almost 500 points. So straight off the back, it's a fall of around six tenths of a percent. Dragged, of course, by emphasis, down about 10 percent. But Tech Mahindra is the other one. As Rima was telling us, you know, there's this telecom exposure and post emphasis and TCS numbers and the read through there. Uh, Tech Mahindra could also report peak numbers and hence down three and a half, six and a half percent. HCL Tech, Wipro, TCS are all down about two to three and a half percent. So the IT pack is under pressure. Interestingly, HDFC Bank is also dragging its feet. So it's not uh, contributing or not preventing the fall. HDFC Bank now down about eight tenths of a percent post its numbers. A decent set of numbers, but as I said, some niggling worry over there. So down down about seven tenths of a percent. SBI, Divi's Labs, Hero Motor Corp, a couple of other stocks that are in the red. On the upside, though, you have um, auto names that are not doing too badly. Aisha Motors is up about one and a half percent. There was that Goldman Sachs upgrade last week. Uh, Dr. Reddy's, uh, you have Kotak Mahindra Bank, Apollo Hospitals, Reliance Industries is holding up. Comes out with its numbers on Friday. Then there is uh, Access Bank, uh, ICICI Bank ahead of numbers on Saturday that's holding up in the green. Indescent Bank and Coal India are a couple of other uh, stocks that are in the green. The Bank Nifty is the one that's batting for the bulls right now, up about 30 odd points. But stripped of that, it is a very weak market. Mm. In fact, now getting worse as we speak, 130 points gone and primarily led by the IT names. Well, that's right, Sonia. And it's bang in the slot, actually. 17,700, 17,730. That's... Uh, the options data indicator as well as the recent low that we saw on Thursday itself, 17,730. We have broken that range in the first five minutes itself. So let's see whether or not there is some buying that creeps in there. Focusing on a few stocks though from the broader markets, mid-cap IT is getting smacked in the face actually as we speak. We have Kofort that's down 6%, L&T uh, Tech Services, Emphasis, Bidla Soft from the FNO names. They are the top losers, all of them down between 3 to around 6%. Some green is what we're seeing on a couple of banking names. RBL Bank is uh, doing a relative outperformance. And Chola Investments as well is trading mildly in the green. A couple of other names that should be in focus is GT uh, PL Hathaway. They reported a loss. The margins as well slipped close to around 600 basis points. So GT PL Hathaway should be a stock that should be on radar, down close to around 8% on the back of weak numbers. You have a couple of other notable names as well. Campbell and Fine, uh, there was an open offer that was launched. It was announced uh, earlier today. So that stock should be in focus. Let's get it up uh, for you on the screen, Camden Fine. That one, in fact, is up close to around 2.8%. Open offer coming in at around 160 rupees uh, odd if it's successful. The promoter entity's holding goes at around 55% uh, odd. Uh, Landmark as well, they came out with an update early trade, Landmark Cars, uh, you know, earlier this morning. That's what they updated on the exchanges itself. So that stock as well will be reacting to that operational update. Well, we're not seeing any buying as of yet as well. We currently trade below that 17,700. It's a test for the bulls. The buy on dips thesis will be tested today. Prashant. It's quite incredible, uh, Nigel, that, uh, you know, I'm just looking at the top list, list of volume-led losers. And it's IT, 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 and more IT, right? I mean, uh, Infi, of course, top of the list. I mean, if we can quickly have these intradays uh, for you, 10%. TCS is down 3.5%. Uh, then you have HCL Tech, which is down, uh, what, 3.7%, uh, 3.8%. LTIM was down 10%. It's recovering a little bit, down 8%. Uh, that is LT uh, Mine, uh, Mine Tree. Tech Mahindra is down a full 7%. Persistent is down 8%. Uh, Wipro is down 4%. Coforge is down 6%. Emphasis is down 6%. Uh, Info Edge, Nokri is down about 6%. LTTS is down 5%. Sonata Software is down 3%. I mean, there is not even a break for uh, something. A uh, something non-IT uh, to be in the list is just completely populated, packed with uh, IT names which are down uh, anything between 5 and 10% in that particular list. So uh, that's what uh, that's where volumes are on the downside as well. Just a few other names. Power Grid is up 2%. It's the top volume-led gainer across the board coming up. Uh, so uh, that's just 1.7 higher. Adani Green is up about 1.8%, again from the power space. Uh, IOL Chemicals is up 7%, 382 on IOL. Uh, so, again, I'm just mentioning this because they have volumes at this point. TV18 broadcast is up 4%. Uh, stocks at about, what, 31, 32 right now. Uh, what else? Venus Pipes was a big mover. I think uh, there was a, a large uh, individual investor who uh, bought uh, into Venus Pipes. Uh, was moved on Thursday. It's up another 8% this morning. 9.23 on Venus Pipes. Uh, Tanla Solutions is up 3%. Uh, just Dial is up about 1.7% or so. 
and then kind of volumes completely drop off. So I won't go into that list. Market breadth is negative, 1,040 lower, and about 840 stocks are higher at this point in time. 17,670 is where we are at in the Nifty. About 160 or points lower is what we have. Uh, so lots of stuff moving around. Manishi Rechaudhary is uh, Asian equity.